first DIY, we're making this mini organizational ladder. I've seen larger ones of these, so I really wanted to make a small one for my room. For this, you're just going to need three pieces of wood, a ruler, a pencil, a hot glue gun, and then some sort of saw or something to cut your wood with. So begin by taking one of the pieces of wood and basically to make this simple, to measure out the entire length of this piece of wood that you're using and then divide it by three and mark that off because you want to end up with three pieces of one of the wood strips that you're using. So depending on how long yours is, that is how you'll determine it. Just measure the total length and divide it by three, mark that off. And once you've marked off those two little spaces, you can go in with your saw and cut the wood. And you wanna end up, like I said, with three of those wood pieces. And then you're gonna go back in and measure the total length again and divide it by four. So that is where you're gonna know where you're going to actually glue those smaller pieces that we just cut out. So again, mark that on both sides of the wood. That way you're even when you're gluing it. So here I'm just laying it out just to make sure that everything kind of lines up and it looks good and it looks like it is going to make the formation of a ladder because once you glue it, you're kind of stuck. So after I laid that out, I just took one dollop of hot glue and glued down these smaller pieces individually just to make sure they were really sticking up and there was no excess glue on the edges. I just wiped it off with my fingers. And to secure that last piece, I added all of the dollops of glue at once and then placed the last little piece of wood down and secured it and it dries instantly. This is what it looks like. I just used it to organize some of the smaller accessories in my room and I really like the way that this turned out. Moving on to this shift shelf DIY. This is inspired by a shelf that I saw that was like $300 and I made this for 20 bucks. So for this, you're going to need three wooden crates. You can get these for like $5 if you wait for the 50% off sale at your local craft store. You're going to need some wood glue, some metal clamps, a foam brush, a piece of wood the same size as the crates, and then lastly, you're going to need wood stain and then something to cover your surface so it doesn't get messed up. So all you're gonna do is take that wood piece that's the same size as the crate at the bottom. You wanna get it the same size but a little bit longer. And then you're gonna take your first crate and glue it on top. So I just smudged out the glue a little bit so it would stick better. And then you place that crate right on top of it, leaving all of the side of it open and you're going to line up the next crate with the end line of that bottom piece of wood, if that makes sense. So you're basically gluing half of the crate to it and then you're gonna add the clamp so it stays secure. The last one goes on the opposite side, basically creating a zigzag and I took a stick just to line it up to make sure it lined up with that bottom crate. So that's what you do, you clamp it, you let that glue dry for a little bit, and after that, you're gonna move on to the wood stain. So that's just what it should look like when it's drying. The wood stain is super simple. You wanna go ahead and add just one small layer of it, and it dries in about three hours, and once you've added all of the wood stain, to your finished project. So I actually let the shelving dry and then I stained it after. That way I could remove the clamps. That's what I suggest doing. And after it's dry, this is what it looks like. This is a great organizational storage piece for your room and it is extremely budget friendly. Next up are these clear labeled containers. So for this, you're going to need some glass containers, some water, some packing tape, a popsicle stick, some scissors, and then lastly, you're going to need some sort of printout from online, quotes or pictures, but keep in mind that they do need to be black and white for this DIY to work. So basically the idea here is that you add a layer of the tape to your little designs and then you want to take your popsicle stick and just press down on all of the areas that actually have some sort of writing or design on them and you just go over it with your popsicle stick nice and hard and then once you are done with that, you're going to cut them out. Now, this is one of those DIYs that I saw on Pinterest that doesn't actually work, so I had to put my own spin on it. So the idea is that you let it sit in this water for about one minute and you're supposed to be able to peel off the back and it's still supposed to have the black part of the drawing or quote on the tape. That is false, it doesn't exactly stay on there. So I put my own twist on this DIY. So it does give you like a little bit of an imprint of what it is and kind of like an outline. So I just went back in with a Sharpie and used that to just draw on the actual part of it and it looks just as good. But yeah, keep in mind, this is one of those like cool DIYs you see on Pinterest that doesn't actually work, but if you use my little spin on it, it works. So yeah, you just stick the label back onto the container, and after you're done with that, you have these cool little clear label jars that you can use to organize. 
This last DIY is a faux concrete tray. It's kind of like a DIY and hack all in one. For this, you're going to need a piece of wood or a wooden plaque like I'm using, some sort of cardboard or something to cover your space. You're going to need this two-step faux concrete paint. And lastly, you're going to need a paintbrush. Make sure it's very similar to the paintbrush that I'm using here. So for this, you're just going to place your wood piece on the cardboard, and then you're going to need some water. And the idea is that you just dab on this first layer of paint and you wanna mix it with a little bit of water is what the instructions say. So I'm trying it out here, I hope this works. But as you can see so far, it's looking a lot like concrete. So I just did a very light layer because you do have to go back in after you've done that first layer with another layer of the paint. And then the last step is to take the darker paint and add some sort of depth and dimension. But when it dries, it completely looks like concrete. So this is a totally amazing DIY and hack in one. I hope you guys enjoyed those DIY organizational pieces. If you did, subscribe to my channel and check out my last DIY. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye.